The ranch we're going to on this trip is in Catula, Texas, just a little south of San Antonio. Norman Hubbard uh, has the ranch, 5-H ranch. Got raised a lot of whitetail out there. This ranch has got a lot of hogs that are running loose in there that somehow got trapped uh, during the uh, building of the fence and they just multiplied. Really need to get them uh, hogs out of there so we give the deer a chance to be able to feed. Every time the feeders go off, they just hogs overtake everything and it's kind of cutting the food out for the deer. So we're going to go down there by helicopter and uh, see if we can't eradicate some. people we got coming on this trip for Chris Skeeters. Uh, he's the veteran. He uh, did several tours in Afghanistan. He was blown up 11-26 uh, in 2012. Uh, he lost one of his teammates in the explosion. He spent several months in recovery. Chris is coming a long ways. He's an uh, inspiring bull rider, done very well in the military pro rodeo circuit. And uh, it's gonna be a surprise for him this weekend because we've made some phone calls. We've got some special guests coming in to do the trip with him. I've got 1992 PRCA world champion bull rider Cody Custer, 1997 PBR world champion Michael Gaffney, and PBR champion bull rider Aaron Seamus. Uh, three top notch legends of uh, rodeo. They're gonna surprise Chris and we've got a helicopter hog hunt. So it's gonna be a good time. We're giving back to those who gave. Here's to you, the strong, the brave. It's our way of saying thanks. Giving back to those who gave. We're giving back to those who gave. Wicked Water Warrior Project is brought to you by Martin Auto Group, Archery World, Straight Hayton Customs, Underwater Green Fishing Lights, Jag Airboats, Spider Wraps, Rugged Fit Seat Covers, B&S Trucking, 5-H Ranch, Tactical Alarm Systems, Madison County Taxidermy, Bloodline Bow Fishing, Olivier Farms, Bork Supermarket, and Karchner's Groceries and Specialty Meats. For our Wicked Water Warrior Project, pro staff. We've got uh, Kayla Landry from Beaumont, Texas area. Uh, Zane Vestal. He's, uh, he's got, a, Zane's got a big ranch down here in Catula, Texas as well. But he's going to help us out with our trip with Chris this weekend. Uh, I also have Freddie that's coming in to do all the cooking. Uh, like I said, our Cajun. I've got Kyle Tant. He's, uh, he's my duck guide, my duck specialist for our pro staff, but he's, he's making the trip out here with us to, to help out. Duck season just ended. We had a good season. Didn't see as many birds, but he's going to tag along with us and uh, help us out. Got some special things for Chris. I got Jason Allen, Texas country artist. Jason's had numerous number one hits on the Texas charts. He's coming down to do the campfire concert. He's also uh, my co-host for this Wicked Water Warrior project. Him, me, Jason and I have known each other for many years and we teamed up to you know, uh, start this warrior project to give back to those who gave. And uh, you know, it's hard for these people, these veterans and stuff to come back from overseas. And we, we come up with this project to take them and get them back to doing fun things help with their recovery process. We're gonna go ahead and meet Freddie up here at Bass Pro, get those cold steel blow guns, maybe do some blow gunning rabbits and stuff tonight, and get ready for Chris to come in in the morning time. It's gonna be a fun trip. 
Well, like I said, man, we got to stop and get these cold steel blow guns. They, uh, you know, Buck on, you know, Buck Medley from Relentless Pursuit and stuff. He, uh, they hammer the rabbits, and all kinds of stuff with them. So I figured we'd stop and get one. Awesome. And uh, tell you what, these rabbits tonight are not going to be safe on this ranch. I promise you. Y'all got, y'all each got one. Yes, sir. I got one. Yeah. It's going to be on tonight. Well, we're about an hour out of away from Catula. Uh, 5-H Ranch, um, bought this place about 18, maybe 19 years ago, and um, uh, we've been raising uh, whitetail, trophy whitetail deer. Well, um, we do sell package hunts. The deer, a lot of the deer are, are raised in a pen to a certain age, and then they're released out into the wildlife, and so um, they're left to roam the range and eat protein, and and uh, protein pellets and protein from uh, uh, the mesquite and the wahia and the waikong and all of that that has uh, certain percentages of protein in it. And the deer get bigger in South Texas. Well, I think it's real important. I think freedom is, um, is the word uh, that uh, everybody should think about for those guys that are out there losing their lives. Uh, I like Chris, seems like a good, clean, young American soldier, and I was proud that uh, J.D. Dudley and I could uh, be partners on this deal and, and uh, help him with um, making it a little better for his life. Chris just got here. We're fixing to surprise him. We'll be right back. Hey, folks, let me tell you about Martin Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram Trucks. When you visit our Cleveland new and used Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram car dealership, your satisfaction is our primary concern. If you value low prices and a variety of high quality, Martin Chrysler is the place to be. Martin Chrysler is located at 1006 Highway 59 South, Cleveland, Texas. You can reach Martin Martin Chrysler at 281-592-8756. That's 281-592-8756. Or you can reach us on the web at martinchrysler.net. That's martinchrysler.net. This is David Gill to talk to you about the Fishing Light 170. This is the brightest 12-volt light you can find. At 150 watts and 15,000 lumens, this light is designed to bring in the fish. This light is practically indestructible compact design to store in your boat. It's made out of 14 gauge marine cord that's 30 foot long. If you want to catch fish at night, you have to get this light. Get yours today at underwatergreenfishinglights.com. Hey, I'm Jason Allen. And I'm Joel Dudley. And this, this is Wicked, Wicked Water Warrior, Warrior Project. Project. Well, Chris just got here. Ready to go on the hog hunt? I'm ready. Good deal. Good deal. Good old time. I hear the helicopter now, so uh, should be coming in. We just met the world champs. We're just going to shoot some pigs. They're visiting in a minute, though. Give them time to create a bond between each other, and it's going to be on. Appreciate. I appreciate y'all coming down. Yes, sir. It means a lot. Uh, definitely three guys I've probably watched the most videos of. I think I've probably worn out the video of you and Adriana <laughs> at, uh, at the NFR. Yeah, you, the I think I've definitely worn that video a time or two on YouTube. So I've, I've always kind of said it to, to me, Blue Ride is kind of like my release from Afghanistan. Uh, you know, kind of the same sort of adrenaline rush when I climb down in the box. So, you know, it's like it kind of helps keep me from going too crazy. You know, I, I started riding when I was in the Marine Corps. So, you know, I didn't really get to ride a lot when I was in. And, you know, now that I'm out, of, you know, I'm pretty much going every weekend. But definitely still a lot I can learn for sure. So. I've been trying to get out to Cody's yeah. for a while, so yeah, definitely, good. definitely gonna get out there this summer and yeah. get on a bunch of them. That'd be good. Good, good stuff, man. Cody's a good teacher. He'd be a great teacher. He's a great, great coach. Great. He's, he can see stuff a lot of people can't, so it'd be good for you. You'll be productive if you're having fun doing something like that. You'll be productive. You know, if you can stay healthy, and we all had our buns and boots. <laughs> that's just part of bull riding. But it's there ain't nothing like it when it's when it's on the high. There's nothing like it. It's a great lifestyle. This uh, Chris Skeeters is, is a guy that I've spoken with on the phone several times, and he's a guy that's got he's got some goals ahead of him in, in the sport of rodeo, and and just uh, 
being able to come and, and have this trip with him and what Wicked Water Warrior Project is doing is uh, pretty cool and it's going to be significant in this guy's life. So we're, I mean, I'm, I'm excited to be a part of it and I know uh, Mike and Aaron are pretty excited to be a part of this deal and the guys that go lay their lives on the, on the line for our freedom, uh, you know, there's there's no way we can really give back what they deserve, but this, uh, we're, we're here to have a good time and help him enjoy it. You know the the veterans are you know have a close place in my heart spe specifically. I, my my dad was a war veteran, was a Vietnam uh, F4 pilot, went had two tours over there, and and so growing up a uh, a military brat, you know it, I hold it you know kind of a kind of a, a patriotic heart so to speak. Not that we all aren't, but uh, you know you see guys and kids like Chris at such a young age to go and dedicate you know themselves and. Uh, and, and put f forth what they do and, and put their lives in line for, for all of us here in the States is, is, is so commendable to me. And, you know, you almost, you almost have a guilt, you know, that you, you don't do more, uh, you know, of these types of things. Just to be able to be so fortunate to go through life to do what we love to do and, and uh, pursue our d dreams, you know, to be able to come be part of this Wicked, Wicked Water Warrior Project is... Uh, uh, just an opportunity to give back for somebody that just laid their life down for our, for our freedoms to be able to chase the dreams that we've, you know, had since kids growing up, and it's just, uh, it's just, you know, it feels good to be able to give back. Yes. I've been wanting to do this for a while, so this is definitely going to be a, a fun experience that I've been wanting to do. Yeah. So. Yeah, and and you're going to replace that bad memory with a good one. Oh yeah. Yeah. What I found helped is to replace a bad memory and that bad trigger with with a, a positive one and and I think that's what's gonna I think this is gonna you know it's a happy coincidence that it's a helicopter <laughs> you know for sure I have plenty of good people around to do it so that's right that's right y'all stay tuned I'll be right back we oui. this is David Gill to talk to you about the fishing light 170 this is the brightest 12 volt light you can find at 150 watts and 15,000 lumens, this light is designed to bring in the fish. This light is practically indestructible. Compact design to store in your boat. It's made out of 14 gauge marine cord that's 30 foot long. If you want to catch fish at night, you have to get this light. Get yours today at underwatergreenfishinglights.com. Hey folks, let me tell you about Martin Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram trucks. When you visit our Cleveland new and used Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram car dealership, your satisfaction is our primary concern. If you value low prices and a variety of high quality, Martin Chrysler is the place to be. Martin Chrysler is located at 1006 Highway 59 South, Cleveland, Texas. You can reach Martin Chrysler at 281-592-875. That's 281-592-8756. Or you can reach us on the web at martinchrysler.net. That's martinchrysler.net. Joel, I know Chris has got some bad memories of that helicopter. Well, stay with us, and let's see if we can turn those thoughts around. I, I, when I was coming down here, my main concern was how I was going to deal with the helicopter. Um, you know, I'd been on helicopters lots of times before but the last time I was on a helicopter was getting medevaced out so it was a little bit of a touchy experience you know when we first fired the helicopter up but after that it kind of just eased out and had a bunch of good people around me to help me out so the hunt was good you know we went up uh, first thing yesterday morning and um, got on some hogs and once we got on them we, we stayed on them for a while and uh, you know we definitely killed quite a few of them throughout the day yesterday well I was in the Marine Corps from uh, 2007 to 2014 I went in uh, two and a half days out of high school and uh, spent most of my time in uh, camp or I spent most of my time in camp was you unless know, I was deployed somewhere um, that's where I actually started riding bulls and stuff like that in 2012 uh, we were in Afghanistan we were running a convoy back to Camp Leatherneck which is one of the main bases out there and uh, we hit an IED which is an improvised explosive device um, wound up losing my gunner during the whole accident and me and my my a driver we uh we got medevac back out and you know we were both okay but we happened to lose him which was the, the worst part of it 
possible. Well, you know, there's there's a lot of things, you know, for people, myself and, you know, other people who've, who've been deployed and been through stuff that there's, there's always triggers out in the everyday world that, uh, that trigger flashbacks and stuff like that. Um, and I knew that was going to be one of them just because the simple fact of it was, you know, the last experience I had on a helicopter. Um, but, you know, talking to everybody and everybody that was around, you know, they, they were telling me that, you know, we could take it easy and, you know, just let me kind of work my way into it. But, uh, you know, once once I got over the initial shock of the the popping of the air, the, uh, the helicopter blades, you know, it just kind of all fell back into place. And I realized where I was and, you know, I, never, I realized I wasn't in any kind of danger and things like that. You know, Cody, Cody Custer, I, I, I know Cody fa fairly well, and I talk to him all the time uh, when I need anything to do with bull riding because I used to actually ride with his, uh, with his nephew back in North Carolina. And uh, so, you know, I've always been a big fan of Cody. Cody's always been one of my heroes. And then to meet Michael Gaffney and Aaron Seamus, both those guys are you know, great bull riders and, you know, they're great guys. And But uh, just meeting him is a pretty cool deal. And, and uh, when uh, when I talked to J.D. about this, about this uh, – this hunt and and him telling me that Chris was going to be the guy we we got to do the hunt with. I was pretty excited just because I hadn't met the kid yet. And I see him smiling and, and you know and, and how pleased he was to to meet Cody and Aaron and myself and and you can tell just you know a very appreciative type individual and and just happy to be here with us. Him being the you know aspiring bull rider that he is, um, you know to hear him talk about the sport and stuff. You know he clearly loves loves doing it he's entered up next week i think at four different shows just a great guy he's got a lot of uh, life ahead of him where he he uh you know going through what he went through is uh dang sure got to be a a challenge and and uh you know made him i'm sure made him um value value life and what he's done for this country and and uh I couldn't remember if I've ever even been up in a helicopter, but boy, that very exciting and uh, just. Uh, I mean, I'm not I'm not a big hunter, but I've done enough hunting where that that was really that was really a highlight in my life. And man, that's something else. I guarantee that. You know, it's been since 2002 since I've been been on any any bulls or anything. So uh, since I retired, and uh, that, that's a pretty good adrenaline rush hanging out of the side of that helicopter. And what happens when a helicopter runs into a bobcat? I don't know, let's stick around and see. Hey folks, let me tell you about Martin Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram trucks. When you visit our Cleveland new and used Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram car dealership, your satisfaction is our primary concern. If you value low prices and a variety of high quality, Martin Chrysler is the place to be. Martin Chrysler is located at 1006 Highway 59 South, Cleveland, Texas. You can reach Martin Chrysler at 281-592-875. That's 281-592-8756. Or you can reach us on the web at martinchrysler.net. That's martinchrysler.net. This is David Gill to talk to you about the Fishing Light 170. This is the brightest 12-volt light you can find. At 150 watts and 15,000 lumens, this light is designed to bring in the fish. This light is practically indestructible compact design to store in your boat. It's made out of 14 gauge marine cord that's 30 foot long. If you want to catch fish at night, you have to get this light. Get yours today at underwatergreenfishinglights.com. Norman Hubbard, 5H Ranch. Thank you for uh, getting us the helicopter and providing us with a great trip. We all had a good time. I want to thank Martin Auto Group, Cleveland, Texas, our sponsor, and all of our sponsors for making our Wicked Water Warrior projects possible, because without them, we couldn't do this. And uh, Freddie, you and my man, where'd he go? Up here, sir. <laughs> Y'all did a great job on cooking the food. So, uh, Chris, thank you for coming down, man. We appreciate what you do. We appreciate what all of our veterans do. And uh, man, we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for guys like you, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, for sure. We know everything that you went through. And uh, on behalf of all of our sponsors, every one of us here today, Cody Custer, Michael Gaffney, Aaron Seamus, all my pro staff, 
we want to thank you in a different way. And by doing that, we have something special made for you, bud. We had a buckle, being your bull rider. We thought it'd be fitting that we give you a buckle. So thank you for your service. And with that being said, we also added something a little special on there for you, bud. In honor of your friend that you lost in the trip, we put the date on there, 11, 26, 12, in honor of him to remember you that day, your friend, and uh, there you go, buddy. Thank you. First off, it, it was a miracle that that Freddie spotted him. If Freddie wouldn't have spotted spotted him, we would uh, we would have goose egged. I'm afraid on that one, but because uh, uh, they blend in so so well. But uh, we uh, he, he spotted him, and uh, we have a we have a phenomenal helicopter pilot in Ryan. Uh, he. Uh, he put me right on him. Uh, it was a it was a pot shot at that point. Um, so uh, I started spraying lead, and we got him. <laughs> he caught one. <laughs> Couldn't land the mesquite was pretty pretty thick where we were. So uh, so what he did is he 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 brought the the bird in the hover uh, at about probably about six feet, about a six foot hover. Uh, climbed out on the on the left skid and uh, jumped down, uh, got the cat, and then uh, and then he came back down. And I uh, was able to climb back in. Said they wanted. He asked if, if somebody wanted to go get him. I said, I'm game. How many people get to do that? Jump out of a hovering helicopter and uh, grab a bobcat and then and then climb back aboard. Chris, I want to thank you for hanging with us today. Thank you. And also, I want to thank you for your service. And uh, we have a little something. Freddie's got a little something for you from all of us for uh, for all that you've done for us. And hope you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. From our, our sponsors and stuff. Yep. And Louisiana. This is uh, to our sponsors. This is Kasha Spencer to me. He's the guy that sent the steaks that we cooked the first night. Um, he sent us some uh, Black Angus ribeyes. Uh, they specialize in special meats and boudin crackling and stuff. And also uh, Bork Supermarket. Uh, these are guys that donated the boudin and uh, the bread, the jalapeno cheese bread, sausage bread. And they donated that, but they also, Bork sent you a little package to take home with you. All right. And this is a, some of the seeds they put on top right here. And then on the inside, they, uh, they sent you some of their special meats. You got some uh, some hamburger patties. You got some boudin. In there. You got some of that, that pork sausage. And um, also, they sent you a stuffed tenderloin. And, oh, uh, and also a stuffed chicken. The, uh, so you can take that back with you. And uh, compliments the Bork Supermarket. And, uh, Koshner's Grocery. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Chris, glad to have you out there. Appreciate it. Wicked Water Warrior Project has been brought to you by Martin Auto Group, Archery World, Straight Hayton Customs, Underwater Green Fishing Lights, Jag Airboats, Spider Wraps, Rugged Fit Seat Covers, B&S Trucking, 5-H Ranch, Tactical Alarm Systems, Madison County Taxidermy, Bloodline Bow Fishing, Olivier Farms, Bork Supermarket, and Karchner's Groceries and Specialty Meats. The the stigma that that warriors are are, are damaged goods, you know, it, it's it's kind of high out there. So if, you know, to get around people like this, that you know, all they want to do is help, and you know, they're doing it for the right reasons. And anytime you can get a veteran out and ha make him have a good time, and you know. Get, get his mind off of stuff, it's always a plus. And Here's to all our military warriors, past and present. Hold them up and drink them down. Yeah, Hold them up and drink them down. I just want to say thank you to everyone this weekend. You know, this this meant the world to me. And at the same time, it was just it was a good it was a good weekend off, and I'm ready to get back to riding bulls. Just out of nowhere, just in time, you showed up and answered my life. I wasn't even looking, I didn't even know, I'd been missing you so. Here's to love, finding love, here's to finding what's been missing. Here's to we had a great 
campfire concert. Good fellowship, good times. Praise the Lord for good friends and uh, new friends. Uh, I just want to give you guys a little token, a little, little souvenir to take home with you. It's just a Jason Allen shirt. Wear it proud, or, or you can go hang it up and shoot it. I don't <laughs> care. But uh, here you go, guys. And uh, thank you, thank you for letting us come here and, and do this at your place, Norman. I really appreciate it, man. You know, I loved thank it, you. and I got to see it firsthand with the helicopter ride, man, which was beautiful. I love your place, and uh, thank you. hey, thanks, guys. And uh, hopefully, we'll get to do this again one day. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thanks for having us. Uh, JD's putting all the together.